The first wine experiences I had was in my dad's surgery when I was probably about seven or eight. And I was invited down there on Saturday afternoons to help him organise things. And those afternoons turned into receiving a tea chest full of wines that they'd brought in from either Burgundy or Bordeaux. And of course they were unpacked there on Saturday afternoons so their wives didn't know. And I was sworn to secrecy. And I kind of loved that. But I also loved getting to look at a couple of bottles that they'd always open to make sure the wines were okay. And uh, so there was just so much romance and mystique and also a little bit of naughtiness in all that that really stuck with me. I'm a career wine person who's had the opportunity to do um, it all over again with the benefit of hindsight. And uh, one of the things that has intrigued me and I think has been very successful for us is, is an absolutely fastidious approach to vineyards. So right from the very start, we were all about vineyards and we've put as much money as we had into vineyards and as much attention into those vineyards as we possibly can. And that's kind of led the way for Giant Steps as one of the first very strictly focused single vineyard producers in the country. And it's what we do today and it's, the, it's where we have our most success and frankly, it's where we have our most fun. Every single year I make wine or I'm involved in winemaking, it makes me realise more and more that it is just about the resources that we're, that we're using. So we have put so much energy and so much attention and so much time and detail into these amazing vineyards. And that is paying off now in our wines. We're just being delivered beautiful fruit. And when you adult beautiful fruit as a winemaker, there's not a great deal more you need to do to it in the winery the easiest way to do something is almost always the wrong way to do it. That sometimes you've got to go right round to get the process exactly right. Um, and the straight line through the middle, the quickest way um, is generally the wrong way to do it. And I guess we put that philosophy into everything we do here. Single vineyards in wine, I think, are everything for me. Approaching wine from one single site and religiously following that through and letting the site express itself rather than us try to express ourselves above the site. As agricultural people, we find fascinating and, and why we get up in the morning. You know, I'm not a young man anymore, but the, the opportunity over many years to, to live and grow with the site and to experience the changes that go on with the site and realise that at the end of the day, the site does make its wine um, and let it do that um, is something that we find deeply satisfying.